Afternoon YouTube, how the devil are you? I'm uh, back with a video, as you can see. Or, if you don't see this, I'm not fucking back with a video. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'm going to do some cleaning that up, yeah? So I thought, I told Ollie I was going to do a VR to his top Master System shmups. And the Stuart on his top PS1 games. So... This now I'm using this excuse and getting all the stuff out to act to clean up to actually do these videos. Um, I think all he done is about two weeks ago, I think. So yeah, took a little bit of while, but to start uh, getting it sorted. But we here, right? The Savlo, and these are all just on the games I own. Like I said, I'm got that I don't own Power Strike anymore. I will one day get it back. Hopefully, find it the uh, cheap cheap price it's mad now to think that when i first had it it's going for more the more power strike 2 was at the time yeah and power strike was probably my a grail game that but i'm just not fucking paying that that sort of money for it no one i can emulate it and perhaps if i'd had it back in the day or something i had nostalgia attached to it i might Think, yeah i really want that but anyway let's get on with it say right so i got two honorable mentions one is that bad boy fantasy zone 2 really really good game we played it in the mass system challenge and it is hard as nails but well worth a play and next one up one i had I never actually owned it as a kid, but I used to borrow off my mate all the time. So I said, me and my one mate, my best mate growing up, he's big in the mass system. And basically my games was his games and his games were mine. It worked like that. Then I think I told a story on it before. But yeah, this was one of his. I used to borrow it quite a lot. Now I think if they had, let me show you what the game is. Well, I'm babbling. So that's Thunderblade. Like I said, I love that artwork on it. People say my system didn't have good artwork, but again, I think that's right up there. Like I said, love this in the arcade as a kid. No, uh, so the sit down one is a big one. We had to move the thing to go around, and it was again hard as nails, the same as this and the Meg Drive version, but well worth a play. I think I would have preferred if they kept it as the star style up there instead of going to the 3D view. Like I said, it's Especially on a mass system, it's very hard in the 3D view, that is. So yeah, that's my two honourable mentions. Right, so let's get on with the top 10, is it? First one up, and again, I got these top 10 here. If i done this on in a different month, it could be, I'd say apart from the top one or two, or the top five, say, Apart from the top five, I'd say, yeah, there might be other games in here and stuff like that. Just whatever the mood I'm in when it comes to this. But at this moment in time, these are my top ten. First one up is Scramble Spirits. Again, if you like the 1942 style games, that is well up there. A little bit of slight sun fade on this one on the cover, but... Still, again, great, uh, great cover art there. And again, like I said, this was an arcade conversion as well. Next one up. Again, always love uh, seeing Eddie's t-shirt to this. <laughs> and this is a belter. Again, great artwork, great game. One I never actually played back in the day it was only in the last couple of years i think that they actually played this and really great game it's like the last day series 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 oh my fucking wine there so yeah great game again well worth playing if you've never played it so here we go coming up another arcade conversion now this is fantastic really good and there's a good few easter eggs in this 
again an arcade conversion nice choplifter and you know, I remember right when I was a kid and I used to see that I always used to think of Airwolf like I said I used to love this on the arcade they had it in a local sports centre and we'd go up and play it and again like all these games would kick my ass yeah like I said I think that looks fantastic really colourful and all like I said the Easter eggs in there it is it's great so I'd highly recommend that one and that was one I did actually own myself this one I'm sure I borrowed this off my mate as well sure we are this one and this is one of the hardest shmups I've played and definitely on the mass system and that's cloud master I said I don't I don't think cloud master was an arcade game I don't think I'm not sure but I know it's on the PC engine now was a chug guy not going to try and pronounce it but yes it looks absolutely fantastic on the pc engine now and there's one on the ps4 i think it's called monkey king it's called monkey king and that's i think like a port of the ps of the pc engine version and well worth playing but again hard as nails yeah i just love borrowing this off my mate and then we go I go to school and he'd say uh how far do you get in it? Do you do the chicken? I'm like, yep, yeah, done the chicken. Or do you get next boss? No. And then a couple days later, he'd ask me, do you get next boss? No. Like I said, always to kick my ass out again. Right, next one up. Again, one I never had back in the day or played. It's only in the last couple of years I got this and played it. I used to love seeing this on the catalogs. And that's Aerial Assault. And again, I always say like afterburner used to remind me of Top Gun. But this as well, no seeing a fighter there. That reminds me of a bit of Top Gun as well. But yeah, like I said, great game if you want to play this. I don't know if you can see the screenshots tidy there. You can see a little bit of uh creasing on the inlay. But yeah, definitely give that a go if you get a chance. Right, so here we go. Here's my top five. Right, this one, you can see this goes through phases. This other last couple of years gets a little bit of love, then no one mentions it for ages. Then it gets a little bit of love again. And I love seeing this get attention because it's a brilliant game. One, I remember getting it on Christmas back in 91 or 92, something like that. What was it, 90? No, definitely 91, 92. And like I said, I just got it because of the artwork. I thought, oh, I just wanted them once, never knew anything about it. But the old girl used to come up and say, Well, here's a catalog, have a lock circle, what you want for Christmas. And this was on, and I thought, Oh, that looks uh, quite all right. And I remember, I think I had, I'd either just watched and for red october or that was being advertised as on or out somewhere i'm sure i might be totally wrong on our memory but for some reason it rings up i think whenever i think of this i think like the end of red october i might just be making that shit up in my mind oh nice that uh case is a little bit broke to sort that out and as like i said submarine attack i should love this game so underrated like I said, it was great when we played this on the Mass System Challenge and seeing so many people playing it for the first time and fair play, everyone enjoying it. So, great game. This one, I got hooked on this when we were doing the Mass System Challenge. Got proper hooked, I couldn't stop playing it and didn't finish it. But before I shuttle off this mortal uh, plane, I hopefully I can this game so yeah, i'm going to start playing it again but oh, great game really really good and again it was one i used to see this in the catalog when i used to have a look and it was always one of the cheaper ones but i never got it because i didn't have a clue looking at the artwork what game it would be and that's fancy zone it's mad because like i said because we never had like the internet and all that back in the day the screenshots was how they grabbed us, or if one of your mates had added or something. Like I said, none of my mates had this. 
be Alex said that is a great game and if you get a chance to play that highly recommend it to me that first one first one is better than the second one for me personally so next one up now again it's a uh, another 1942 type game and again one i never played back in the day only like the last few years actually got in started playing it and love this game like i said it's really really good i think if i had played this back in the day it'd probably be right up there amongst my best my favorite maps of all time and could be up here amongst my favorite games as well anyway that's bomber raid there was a sticker on the back of this i should really try getting it off and again i think all these games here are still very reasonable priced so i'd highly recommend you get all these games I think the most expensive one here is either sagaya or uh fancy zone 2 and they probably around around 30 to 40 i imagine now around that price but again there's so much replay value and i'm highly recommend right next one up a cheap game and this what i just said about fancy zone they done the artwork contradicting myself because i didn't have a clue what this was going to be like and again i've seen the artwork you run them ones you there you get because I could be serving stuff and you'd think, all right, go on, I'll just do that. And I had actually got this with my math system. This one, the boy, and hang on. I'd hang on on a card. And I'm not sure if I actually played this before I played one, the boy. I might actually, have, I think hang on was the first one I played. Because I loved one, the boy, knew what one, the boy was. Obviously, I've seen the card with that. Hang on, I thought, what's that? But anyway, I played this and it's, oh, it's brilliant. Like I said, I expired that on the, the NES. And like I said, that for years and years and years and years and years, I always thought it was a magnifying glass. I was shocked when I found out it was a motorbike wing mirror. And even now, like I said, it makes sense and I can see it's a motorbike wing mirror. To me, I'll always think of that as a magnifying glass. Don't ask me why. Yeah, like I said, it's good parts, you know, when you have the bike. You start off on a motorbike, then you upgrade to a car. And then you get up in the air then as like a fighter plane type thingy majiggity. And yeah, like I said, if you get a chance to play that. And that is still cheapest chips to pick up now. And like I said, uh, don't know if I should say it. But well, I will say it. Dorky underscore pen all i'll say thank me later and my favorite master system shmup and i think this is quite a lot of people's favorite master system shmup everything about this game is brilliant and the fact there's an extra level on here as well it wasn't in the arcade it makes that a bit bit more special and that's our type Look at that artwork. The Dom Paradox. Dom. Yeah, I always can say I always get it. I always end up saying Dom Perignon. But I know it's not that. Fucking that's obviously alcoholic drink. Yeah, that I love that. That is one of the most iconic bosses ever for me. Like I said, such a great game. This. Like I said, should I am gonna tell anyone how good. Oh, type is like I said there's a little bit of flicker on the mass system version but how the hell they got that on the mass system I'll never know I said again another arcade conversion to remember we used to play it in the local chip shop me and my mate and again this was one to uh, borrow off my mate um, and like I said when I started buying mass system games again years ago before I got rid of them this is one I had to get back and I got it back. I might have actually even got this from Next Level Games. We have to go down here. And I've been shut now for 10 years. And I think. 
I think I paid around 10, 12 pounds, something like that. And that's the hours I've had playing this since then is I could have paid hundred pounds for that and I'd get my money's worth out of it. Like I said, love that game. So many memories playing it. And my ass kicked by it. And yeah. Like I said, so that's my top 10 shmups and two honourable mentions. Like I say, I've got to get round to doing my PS1 games. So I've already put out on the side. So I'll either record that after or tomorrow. And so this one now should be up today. Hopefully, which is Tuesday the 12th of December. So yeah, there'll be a link to Ollie's video in the description. Obviously, if you're watching me, you know who Ollie is, but... I'll chuck the link to his video there anyway. If you haven't seen it, go and check him out. Absolute diamond geezer. So, yeah. Just for watching. All the best. Catch you in the next one.